Hey guys, and welcome back to this Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Um, in our last episode, we had a meteor come down from the sky, just about kill us. And we saved a hot girl, and apparently our main character didn't think that that was enough reason to just go along with her instead of, um, randomly wandering around the world, in his own words. So, I guess we'll just keep doing that. get that much out of a look. Screams and cue the rescue. Okay, so I've tried to record this actually once before and it didn't go too well because of hard drive space. Turns out I'd left fraps on. Let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. 20 kill, 60 XP, and we gained a level there. So far it's now level 2. More vanilla goblins. Nothing really too special about these. I think they have about 28 HP or something like that. I don't know. There's not a beast area in this version of the game, so I can't check. And 
and with that, Lena and Gallop join our party at level 1. Uh, as of right now, the characters are very similar. Uh, they'll kind of diversify a little bit later when we get the, uh, the job system, which is pretty much what this game is famed for. dungeon and our first random battle. Um, the way I'm going to end up working with these is I'm definitely going to show the first time an enemy comes up in a random battle, but after that, if it just repeats, I'm going to cut it all out because I don't think I want this. Especially when these are very vanilla enemies. grinding spot earlier in the game if you're into that. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of grinding in this game, but not too much. And I'm going to end up leaving this one in as well since I just talked over it, but after this I don't think I'll really be leaving them in too much. It's going to be a hard half to break. Okay, we'll see what we can do. So now we have Bart at level 3, and Lena and Gallus at level 2. Let's continue on here, to this next room. And what do we have here? We have a pirate. Button to open a secret passage. Very nice observation there, of course. And we have a church in town. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this in here too because we have a new enemy. He's Stroper. And this is also our first back attack. Um, what the back attacks do is they switch your rows up, so your front row will be in your back row, and your back row will be in your front row. Um, now, the thing about the rows is damage taken and damage dealt are both halved when you're in the back row. So it's better to put mages back there. And this treasure just contained a leather helmet. So, at this point anybody can wear anything. So I think we're just going to arbitrarily give it to Lena. Just because, no real reason. 
we'll get gear for everybody soon enough anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. That is pretty strange. Alright, so in that last random battle, Lena and Gala came to another level. They are now caught up with Farts at level 3. You know what? I get the feeling it's going to be the death of me in this LP. Anyway, continuing on. Whatever gave you that idea. They're pirates, Lena. Out right now, so I'm just going to get right to the chase here and take the boat. Well, then. Exaggerated pirate accents? Well, I'm considering that a good thing, because they're usually so terrible that you can't read them. Glossing over the fact that Lena is a consistent tycoon because we knew it ever since, well, the opening cutscene. But I I'm still kind of just wondering how they wouldn't know who she is. It's not like she was hiding it or anything, but. I think you did. See, I don't even need to make snarky comments.
Who knows? Could be another JRPG plot for some foreshadowing. Nah. That's a shocker. Sorry my commentary is a little bit sparse, so I'm just trying to get used to everything. Not the craziest thing I've ever heard. Ships sailing on the back of giant sea monsters. But I guess when there's no wind, you gotta do what you gotta do. And so we're given control of Ferris, Ferris's ship for about three world map tiles, and one of our screw offers to navigate us directly to the wind train. Uh, being as there's no real points of interest before then, we're just going to take him up on that offer. And I think once we get up here to the wind train, I think I'm just going to leave off. Because this seems like a pretty good place to stop. So I think that's what we'll do. And I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.